So every every year since we started the 360, we have inducted somebody into the Hall of Fame. And in order for you to be inducted into the Hall of Fame at the 360, you have to have an exemplary life of achievements and have dedicated your life to do many things. So we're going to run a quick video because we have an important induction to make today with our friend Al Berkeley. So run the video. Welcome to the Digital 360 Summit Hall of Fame. Sponsored by SRC Digital, digitally connecting stakeholders with capital and financial markets. This year, we would like to honor Alfred Berkeley. Born on September 12, 1944, Alfred's journey began in Caucasville, Maryland. With a bachelor's degree in English from the University of Virginia in 1966 and an MBA from the University of Pennsylvania in 1968, Alfred's passion for knowledge was evident from the start. His dedication extended to service as a captain in the United States Air Force, where he served as a supply officer and aide-de-camp, laying the foundation for his leadership journey. Alfred's professional path led him to Alex Brown and Sons, where he excelled as a research analyst and chief information officer, showcasing his innovative spirit. A visionary leader, he assumed the role of president at NASDAQ, leading them into four of the market's best performing years. He oversaw IPOs from some of the biggest companies today. Alfred's influence transcended industries, becoming an essential member of boards such as the World Economic Forum USA and the Nature Conservancy. His commitment to education and innovation extended to roles at Johns Hopkins University and the National Science Foundation, where he championed STEM education. Alfred's legacy is deeply rooted in family. Today, we stand in admiration of Alfred Berkeley, a trailblazer whose contributions have left an indelible mark on progress, inspiring generations to reach for the stars. It is our honor to induct Alfred Berkeley into the Digital 360 Summit Hall of Fame. Sponsored by SRC Digital, digitally connecting stakeholders with capital and financial markets. Uh, I'll, I'll say a couple of words, um, and I'll let Dixon um, make, cry, make, make Al cry. Um, Al Berkeley is somebody that you must meet today. He's an amazing human being. We are so lucky that we have guys like this running our country. And I'm very honored to be able to bestow this small token of thank you for an amazing career that has changed so many lives. Thank you. And I am one of those lives. Uh, I'm in the capital markets business. I actually do insurance, and we do a lot of work, um, basically, analysis. And uh, when I learned about XBRL, I realized that the financial reporting data is actually critical to what we do. And then when we talk today, we see all these people talking about digital and the power of data for what it can do. Well, Al actually is one of those people that actually did something. 2002, he wrote one of the first uh, business cases for XBRL. And just last year, uh, Congress passed the Financial Transparency Act, basically creating the evolution to where now everybody has an exact same opportunity to operate in the digital environment because of what Al has created in the financial markets. And ultimately, and I'm, I'm talking tomorrow, about how it'll reach into all private sector infrastructure and everything. So an amazing job of creating what was the impossible, creating the financial reporting standard across the world is amazingly uh, challenging, and he did it. So my friend, Alfred Berkeley. Thank you very much. Say a few words. You can put it back here. If you want. Well, I've been blessed to have an eclectic, un, un planned life, but I'll tell you, each of the accomplishments that I've been able to do have come from a team effort. It's not been me, it's been the teams that have worked on these projects with me, and the great good fortune I've had to have some of them come to fruition. So I'm honored to be here and I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Here you go. 